I rise today to address a topical conservation issue and in so doing give recognition to the tremendous effort of a small group of dedicated Australians who have joined with an international charity founded in 2000 by Beijing-born Quan Li that is committed to big cat conservation with particular emphasis on the preservation of the South China tiger. On February 14 this year, Chinese communities around the world celebrated the start of Chinese New Year, Year of the Tiger. The tragic fact is that this majestic an animal is now critically endangered and of the six remaining tiger subspecies, the South China tiger, the evolutionary ancestor of all tigers on our planet, is on the verge of extinction. The South China tiger is an iconic symbol in Chinese history, but only a few remain in the wild and less than 100 currently live in captivity. Some had predicted that the South China tiger would vanish by 2010, but the Save China's Tiger project has brought new hope for their survival. In 2000, Quan Li established Save China Tigers as a charitable foundation. Save China Tigers reached agreement with the Chinese government to transfer zoo-born South China Tigers from China to Save China Tigers' 300 square kilometre wildlife reserve in South Africa, known as the Lau Valley Reserve with the aim to breed and rewild them in preparation for their eventual reintroduction back to a wild habitat in China. South Africa was chosen as a springboard thanks to its leadership in wildlife management, readily available land and abundant game. Save China's Tigers has also been working with the Chinese government to identify suitable areas of land for the establishment of pilot reserves in China. These reserves will provide a large, protected wilderness environment for the reintroduced tigers, as well as other wildlife in the ecological chain. Beginning in 2003, the project acquired two stud book registered South China tiger cubs. These cubs, familiar only with concrete box display cages, were initially reluctant to leave the concrete pad adjacent to the gate of their new natural enclosure in South Africa. Their paws had never touched grass. They underwent rewilding training after their arrival. Since 2007, eight tiger cubs were born in Luo Valley Reserve, of which five survived and learned to hunt like their parents. Renowned cultural anthropologist and activist Margaret Mead said, and I quote, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has." Close quotes. As part of its work, the Foundation is enhancing China's wildlife management capabilities by training managers and Chinese government officials in conservation disciplines. The project keeps meticulous scientific records to provide data to biologists and the conservation community. The Foundation is also raising awareness and educating the public on the plight of the South China tiger through its website, media releases, publishing books and other printed materials, as well as DVD releases. Stephen Parassus, a solicitor and founding member of the Australian branch of the Foundation, recently made an application to the Department of Environment, Water, Heritage and the Arts in Canberra to have Save China Tigers Australia Limited included on the Register of Environmental Organisations. The objective of the register is to assist environmental organisations obtain financial support from the community for use in the conservation and protection of the natural environment by providing a tax incentive mechanism for community to donate to organisations listed on the register. In the words of US President Theodore Roosevelt, and I quote, when I hear of a destruction of a species, I feel just as if all the works of some great writer have perished, close quotes. The world loves tigers. The Big Cat with Stripes was voted the world's favourite animal in a 2004 poll conducted by the Animal Planet Channel. Let us all hope that Save China Tigers Foundation and the Chinese government authorities succeed in saving the South China Tiger from extinction by achieving a self-sustaining wild population in China. Thank you, Madam Deputy oh, President. So